how to find a job in Norwegian capital Oslo. Hi guys, I'm Anna. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to discuss with you one very interesting subject. How to find a job in Norwegian capital Oslo if you are a foreigner. Foreigner, right? Finding jobs in Norwegian capital Oslo can be really challenging for English speakers who haven't mastered the Norwegian language yet. And here is some advice for those of you guys who are planning to move to Norway and get a job in its capital. For many foreigners who are hoping to work in Norway, Oslo is usually their choice number one. That's understandable. Oslo is the capital of Norway after all, and it seems like to get a job there would be much easier. Well, yes and no. The job market in Oslo. I already discussed with you in my previous videos how to get the job in Norway and different professions in different industries available here. On this channel I already proposed you some ideas where to look for the jobs and what jobs are in high demand currently in Norway. And on my personal travel channel I'm sharing with you some vital advice about some social codes and Norwegian behavior in general and how to become a part of Norwegian society fast and smoothly. But how should you approach finding a job in Oslo specifically? Keep watching. Oslo is a big dream of employment not just for the foreigners but also for Norwegians themselves. Many Norwegian students had for Oslo straight away with their degree in hand. So there is a lot of competition for the best vacancies here. On the positive side, Oslo is a base for many, many international companies, so English-speaking positions are quite easier to come by. Also, there is a lot of work available in the service industries such as tourism, hotels, restaurants, for which foreign language, rather than English, can be a real advantage. Business district in Oslo. Many Norwegian companies have their headquarters in Oslo, but also lots of international companies have their branches in Norway, in Oslo and nearby. So, if you're looking for an office job, let me give you the best locations to concentrate your search. The city center is almost always going to be your option number one. However, Oslo has smaller business district concentrated around the city. The newest and most notable is Barco. The strip of narrow, high-rise buildings nearby the Opera House. To the north of the city there is Nydalen, another very popular area for small businesses. The site of Oslo's former airport, the Fornebu Peninsula, is just outside city limits and now it's a thriving business park. That's where I have my dentist, by the way, and if you're curious how much you will pay for the appointment with a dentist here in Norway, you should watch that video. That's really informative. Fornebu is home for headquarters and major offices for the biggest names in Norwegian business, including globally famous Equinor, Telenor and also Acker Solutions. Getting to Fornebu can be a challenge as the buses are often crowded during peak times, but the planned t extension should improve the things in the nearest future. Depending on where exactly in Fornebu you work, you can also take a walk from Lesaka train station. Lesaka itself is also home for many energy companies. Closer to Oslo, but still on the west side of the city is Skoyen. Guys, apologies for my pronunciation of Norwegian words, that's why I'm giving you the spelling of those words right here. In Skoyen you will find a range of famous Norwegian companies including Yara, Veidikke, Nordic Semiconstructor and Multiconsult. If you're looking to work in shops or the restaurants, Akerbriga is the area to consider. The most luxurious properties and also five-star hotels are also located in Akerbriga. This area is one of the luxurious areas of Oslo and it's also quite a famous shopping district. Types of work available in Oslo. As the capital city of Norway, there is a lot of different positions available in Oslo. Also, compared to other locations around Norway, the demand for non-Norwegian speakers can be much higher here. The service industries in Oslo. There is a lot of jobs available in tourist hospitality and other service industries in Oslo. However, many of those jobs are unfortunately low paid and also temporary or not full time. But if you are just looking to get your fate in a Norwegian employment or you are looking for a part time job, that might be the best option for you. As for the language situation in hospitality industry in Oslo, English is always used as a working language in many cafes and restaurants 
news here due to the amount of international stuff. The local magazine NRK reported that one out of every two Norwegians experienced to be served by non-Norwegian speaker in the last year. However, if you are looking for a customer-facing role in Oslo in hospitality industry, including hotels and the restaurants, your ability to speak English will not be your predominant advantage. First, the local population already speaks a perfect English. Do you speak English? And also you will have an ocean of competition as other commoners, other foreigners coming to work in Norway will have quite a strong skills in English. Knowledge of other language will give you that competitive advantage and will also make you stand out of the crowd of other applicants. ICT and engineering jobs in Oslo. A huge number of international companies and also Norwegian companies with their headquarters in Oslo, combined with the constantly growing numbers of startups, gives that fantastic chances to find a new job for experienced and qualified developers and engineers. Best examples here, Equino and Telenor are absolutely fine about the employment of non-Norwegian speakers. Startups here in Norway are also much more flexible when it comes to language. You can read more in other articles about available engineering and developers jobs here in Norway. I will give you some links to those articles in the description to this video. And if you find it helpful in general, please don't forget to smash that like button. I would love to see your reaction guys. Teaching jobs in Norway. Very often I am contacted by people who assume that it's extremely easy and straightforward to get English teaching job in Oslo. And I do understand why they think so. Many companies selling TFL and TSL courses make a healthy profit by marketing it to people who would like to travel and see the world. While it's absolutely fine if you want to travel to China, Eastern Europe or South America, things are very much different here in Scandinavia. In fact, everyone understands English and people here are fluent in English by the time they finish school. This means that the demand for English teachers is quite limited for Norwegian school system. To get a job in Norwegian school, you will have to speak Norwegian fluently and you will also need to get teaching course here in Norway. Of course, there are some professional English teaching companies. They are target the corporate market, but there is only a few of them and it's a very rare occasion to get a job this way. Certainly the big exception is international schools. There are several in Oslo and also fjord region. Generally speaking, international schools in Norway tend to have really high turnover of their staff and they also offering one or two years temporary contracts. So if you have a teaching qualification and a few years of experience in your own country, you will have a great chance to get a job not just in Oslo in international school, but also in other international schools around Norway. Next, how to find jobs in Oslo. To find a job in Oslo, you need to implement the same tactics. You're looking for the right job in any country in the world. If you have your eyes on a specific company, consult their website first. Go to the official website of the company first. The largest companies in Norway, like Equino or Telenor, they have a separate page for open vacancies in their companies. I will give you the exact links to the career parts of their website in the description to this video. To thank me, please smash that like button. I will truly appreciate appreciate it. If you're looking for work in hospitality sector like the hotels, restaurants, the bars, you better print out a bunch of your resumes and also put on some super comfortable shoes. Just walk around Oslo, walk in in the hotel or the restaurant and give them your CV in hand. You will have a great chance to introduce yourself and explain why you want to work for that particular bar or the restaurant. Or the hotel. So doing a little bit of research beforehand can be not a bad idea. The demand for those roles is constantly high in Oslo and those positions often getting filled by word of mouth. Finding one of those positions for yourself is a numbers game. It's a good idea to make a list of potential places and spend an afternoon stopping by in person. It's also a great opportunity to practice your Norwegian and to show to your future employer that you are willing to learn everything and extremely fast. Looking online should be also a part of your job searching strategy. However, it works much better for office jobs. The biggest marketplace for jobs and actually also other things here in Norway is fin.no. Other places to try and look for a job can be NAF website and also employment agencies like Manpower. That one is actually the biggest one here. As I mentioned several times in my previous videos, networking can be a really great tool to find a job anywhere in the world 
Oslo included. If you are currently looking for a job, make sure that all your relatives, friends and former colleagues are aware about this. Just ask them to help you. Nothing is wrong with asking people to help. You can also join one of the many Facebook groups for foreigners living in Norway, but be prepared every time you post. Not all the comments will be positive and also not every advice will be trustful. I also don't trust every single advice you get. Looking for a new job is never easy. From the day one, you need to be prepared to invest enough time and energy. Be patient and eventually it will come, but never lose the trust in yourself. Always believe in yourself. That's the main thing. You deserve everything the best. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one too. If you did, please smash that like button. Also, if you have some questions of how to find a job in Oslo or in Scandinavia in general, drop me a comment down below. I will do my best to help you. I'll see you in my next videos. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>